Ignacio and Andreu, uh, from Madrid, you're with the CFD department at Emirates Team New Zealand. We've just had day 20, I think, with the LEQ out on the water. Uh, pretty fantastic day with quite extreme conditions, big waves and lots of wind. This is your just starting with Team New Zealand? I, yes, I started about uh, four months ago, working, like you said, on CFD, so like a simulation of the hydrodynamics. Working, working on yeah the hull and the foils yeah fantastic so can you break today down how did you see today go did, did you achieve your objectives um, it was a very good day I guess to test some of the conditions that we may encounter in Barcelona it was uh, the waves were a bit bigger than than normally here which matches what we may expect in Barcelona and it was also pretty windy so we were able to go pretty fast and see how the boat does at, at pretty high speeds. Yes, no, we, we, we certainly, Adam and I in the in the recon boat, many times could not keep up, uh, either because of sea state and or in the flat water behind Rangitoto, our boat is capable of 46 knots in the flat water and the AC-40 was walking away from us and we were yes. tapped out, it was quite extreme. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, we have noticed that there is a new addition to the anhedral foil. We've noticed a little winglet or tab or something close to the centre line off the bottom of the bulb. What are we looking to do with this? Um, well, we, we are looking at how the foil performs, basically, and try to um, get information on that. And with the new additions, we try to uh, yeah, get see how it performs. So it's, it's more gathering yeah. data, testing an idea and, and seeing how it works. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, uh, obviously you've been in New Zealand now for four or five months, becoming well, this wonderful summer we're having. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. But if you're happy just to break down today in your native language for the viewers, please. Sir, um, hoy hemos salido a probar el, nuestro LQ12 en un día que hacía bastante viento, entonces hemos conseguido ir bastante rápido y llegar a unos 47 knots de velocidad y también hemos investigado cómo se comporta el barco en, en situaciones más parecidas a las que nos podemos encontrar en Barcelona, que son con olas de, eh, más grandes de las que suele haber aquí.